Good morning, Mrs. Anderson. It's so nice to see you again. Hi, Dr. Schindler. Tell me what brings you here today. Well, my back has been acting up. Um, I, I had to miss a couple days of work. I called the, your office and they said I had to come in to see you before I could get a note. Well, I'm glad you were able to come in today. Um, I really haven't seen you since the accident, uh, which I guess was about six months ago, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How have things been going for you since then? Well, I, I've been seeing the orthopedist and um, physical therapy every six to seven weeks and mm -hmm. physical therapy in between there. And has that helped? I'm not, I don't think it's helped, doctor, to be honest. I, I, st I still have as much pain now as I did back then. And so what do you do to help the pain? How do you make yourself more comfortable? The only thing that really helps is, is the medication. Oh, okay, and what kind of medication are you taking? Percocet. Percocet, okay. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me how often you're taking the Percocet? Well, when it acts up, maybe, maybe two or three times a day. Okay, and is that every day or do you take it? A couple days in a row like until, that, until it feels better. And when the pain gets better, then how long can you go without taking the Percocet? Um, sometimes a couple days, uh, mm -hmm. maybe three or four. Okay. And you said you take it a couple of times a day when you need to take mm -hmm. it. Could you tell me a little bit more about when you take it during the day? Well, you know, so I can make it to school um, in the morning, um, maybe uh, depending on how bad it is in the afternoon, and, and then, you know, so I can sleep at night. Okay, so you do use it to help you sleep. Can you tell me a little bit about the trouble that you've had sleeping? I wake up, I'll wake up with, in a lot of pain. It wakes me up. Okay, mm -hmm. and um, what do you do when you wake up with the pain? Well, if I have the medication, I'll take it then, but mm -hmm. if not, I have to write it out. Okay, so you don't, sounds like you don't always have the medication available. No. Um, mm -mm. Who's been prescribing the medication for you? My husband, he, he's a doctor. Um, okay. He's a he's, cardiologist, right? He is, he is, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. And anybody else that's been prescribing the pain medicine for you? Um, once in a while, the orthopedist does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it sounds like there are times when you're running out. Right, and my doctor and my husband said I should probably come to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you described um, the pain and, and what's happened since the accident. Um, anything else going on in your life now? Well, I have a new classroom this year. Do um, you? They transferred me from my school that I loved. Um, I was an elementary teacher, and now I'm in a high school. Hmm. It's and how is bad. that going? It's pretty Not bad. well. Mm -hmm. okay. What's what's happening in the classroom that's that's upsetting for you or difficult? Well, for they're you? high schoolers. They're like men, and there's like four or five that um, I have real behavior problems, mm -hmm. and I have no help, no teachers' aid this year. Wow. So it's it's very out of control. Right. And you've been missing a number of days of work. Yes. Is it because of the pain, or is it because work has been difficult, or do you think of I can't combination? get in there. Well, you know, I can't get in there because of my back pain. Mm. So it's mostly the back pain mm -hmm. that's keeping you away from your job. Mm -hmm. okay. Anything else that you've noticed that's that's changed for you in the last six months since this accident? Well, the only other thing is my my 15 year old. Um, uh -huh. I notice him. He has some same behaviors as these these high schoolers that I have. He worries me. He's hanging around with a crowd that I really don't want him to, and I, th I think he might be smoking marijuana. Uh, what makes you think that? Well, you know, he comes in jolly one minute and, mm -hmm. and very tired the next and eats nonstop. And, um, and you know, they're all like about 16. I'm afraid of them driving and having an accident. Sure, sure. Well, that's, that is a worry. Mm -hmm. okay. And you have two other children, right? Yes. And how mm -hmm. are they doing? They're doing pretty well. They're they're in they're both in college now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's going okay. Mm -hmm. So we talked a little bit about your back pain and about the trouble that you've had sleeping. Um, are you having any other symptoms that you're concerned about? Um, how's your mood been? Gosh, I, I well my mood. I'm very. I just feel very down lately. Do you? How would you describe that? Um, I, I just, I, I, I'm not very positive. I used to be like enthusiastic and, but I, I don't feel that way lately. Really? Mm -hmm. And are you able to enjoy things that you usually enjoyed? No. 
Not How's not your really concentration? Better. I guess it's pretty poor. It's it's hard for me to stay focused even at school and teaching mm -hmm. and you know I blame it on the kids, but I I think it's me as well. Okay. Are you feeling nervous or anxious? I do feel nervous a do lot. You? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how would you say you're feeling about yourself as a person? Not not real good. I mean, I, I don't feel like I'm yeah. doing the best that I can can, I can do. Yeah. Do you have times where you feel, when you're feeling down, that you feel like life's not worth living? Have you had thoughts about hurting yourself? No, no. Or hurting anybody else? No, no, no. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you could be depressed as well as, you know, struggling with this back pain and struggling with your work situation. Have you ever had problems with depression in the past? Well, I didn't call it depression, but I did feel very down after um, after two of my births, to two of so my children. You, okay, so in it that postpartum period. And what was that like for you? What, what happened? It was really tough. Um, I, I couldn't even get out of bed some mornings. Really? Yeah. What kinds of symptoms did you have besides not being able to get out of bed? Well, very tired, no energy. Um, just felt really bad about yeah. myself, and my mom had to come. I did mean, she? I, I yeah. couldn't have done it without her. Okay. Depression tends to run in families, um, and I wondered if anybody in your family might have had problems with depression as well. My mom. Did yeah, she? Yeah. yeah. She had a okay. couple know? periods of being feeling really down, mm -hmm. then like like I had. And do you know what kind of treatment she might have gotten? No. Mm -hmm. Did she ever talk about it? Not really. So she kind of kept we it We just to waited it out. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've talked a little bit about your family history of depression, your mom's history of depression. Um, anybody else in the family that you know, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, brothers, or sisters that might have had problems with depression? Not that I know of. Okay. Mm -hmm. And because problems with addiction tend to run in families as well and, um, and run in families that have problems with mood and depression, um, tell me a little bit about your family history in terms of addiction. Anybody that's had a problem with dependence on alcohol or drugs? Well, my father drank a lot. Did he? Mm -hmm. yeah. And is your dad still alive? No. No. What did he die from? Um, cirrhosis. Cirrhosis. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when he was ill, uh, did the doctors talk at all about whether that was related to his drinking alcohol? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did the family at the time think he had a problem with alcohol? Yes. And mm -hmm. what made you think that? What was well, he was you? mean. He had a mean really? streak and abusive, and yeah, and, and that only happened after he drank a lot. So when he was drinking, he would, he would mm -hmm. get mean and abusive? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, well, let's come back and talk a little bit about why you came in today to see me. Um, you mentioned the back pain and, and, um, and a doctor's note. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me a little bit more about what you'd like me to be able to do to help you? Well, I, I need the doctor's note to get back to school. I, I did have to take off the couple days. Um, uh -huh. And um, and then if I could have the Percocet to take away the pain um, so I can get back to, to work. Okay. Well, let's talk a little bit about the Percocet. And it sounds like you've been taking it, you know, sometimes a couple of days in a row, sometimes from what you've said, you've taken a couple of days off uh, from using it. Have you found uh, that um, you're needing to use more of it than you had in the past? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Okay. And have you felt at all like you need to cut down on your use? Well, I, I think I'm at the minimum as it is, um, and it's still the back pain doesn't go away. So if I cut back, it's, it's just going to be worse. And has anybody that you're close to um, in the family been talking to you about your use of Percocet and expressed concern about it? Well, I, only my husband, and I. he's just so busy, and he would rather me see you than, mm -hmm. than him just writing the prescription. Okay, and that's what he's been doing up mm -hmm. until now. Mm -hmm. okay. And have you felt guilty at all about using it? Guilty? No. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Do you find sometimes that you wake up in the morning and you're feeling kind of shaky and you need to, to take a Percocet to settle yourself down? 
Well, I do, I do find myself nervous. I, I don't mm -hmm. know if shaky is, the, is what it is, but um, I, I don't use that to, to calm myself down. I do use it for the back pain. Okay. What do you use to calm yourself down? Because it sounds like, you know, between the sleep problem and, and the nervousness and the depression, that you must be feeling pretty awful at times. Well, um, once in a while I ha I'll go and have some drinks with, with friends after work. Mm -hmm. um, um, and then I, I do smoke marijuana um, in the okay. evening so that I can sleep and calm down. It does relax me. Okay. And is that something that you do every night? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how about other times during the day? Not usually, no. Mm -mm. And you said you drink with your friends um, occasionally. Yeah. Um, how often would you say that is? Um, not more than a couple times a week. Okay. And do you do that at home, at a restaurant, at a bar? Usually, well, us usually at a restaurant that has a bar. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so how many drinks would you say that you have? Just a couple, um, maybe two or, or three. Well, it sounds like you're struggling with a lot of things right now. Um, certainly, the stress at work, the back pain that's you know been a result of your accident, uh, which you know at this point should be getting better. It's been almost six months, and I know you've been working hard at doing your physical therapy uh, to try to help that. And um, it also sounds, on top of that, like you have some worries about your son. Um, so there, there are a number of things going on right now that. Um, I think are playing a role here, and it sounds like you may be depressed. Um, one of the things that we know is that women who have problems with depression some, sometimes, and in fact more than sometimes, will turn to drugs or alcohol uh, to help medicate their depression, and I wonder if that may be something that could be going on with you right now, um, and it may be why um, you know, you've needed to use the Percocet and continue to need the Percocet, uh, despite the fact that your back should be healing at this point. Well, I don't think so, Doctor. Um, it really does hurt. It, it, my back is, is, you know, in a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think that I'm questioning at all the fact that you're, you're having pain. I think you really are having pain, and it, you know, and it is feeling very painful. Uh, but we do know that pain, painful symptoms or symptoms of pain can be very common in people who have depression as well. So one of the things that I think we need to try to sort out together is how much of what is happening with you right now may be related to the depression, um, which you know we can treat you for, or um, whether, in fact, as, as a secondary problem, you've now developed some dependence on the pain medication that you've been taking. I don't, I don't think, I can stop it. I mean, I, I wouldn't say that I was dependent on it, um, but what would I do about my back pain? Okay, well, I think that's something that we need to, to talk about and continue to work on. Um, one of the things that we found, though, is that if you start to treat the depression, uh, that very often the back pain starts to get better. Uh, but we also have to find out how dependent you may be on the pain medication and taper you off of it, um, if that's in fact the case. What I'd like to do, Mrs. Anderson, is write out a prescription for an antidepressant for you today. And we'll talk a little bit about um, how you take it and what some of the side effects uh, potentially could be. And also uh, write out a prescription and a schedule for taking you slowly off your Percocet. Okay. Okay? Mm-hmm.